Hi, I'm Chad Hamilton. I'm a CFP and Director of Practice Management for Brown & Company in Denver. Uh, one of the things that can be really challenging during all the craziness that we're going through right now is trying to make sense of it all and have a healthy perspective. So what I want to do is just take a couple minutes and share with you our perspective on the economy and the markets as they stand right now. More than 90% of Americans are in lockdown and we've learned that over 10 million people have filed for unemployment claims in just two weeks. Now these numbers are astounding and it's part of what triggered the U.S. government to pass the CARES Act on March 27th. And it's also part of why the Fed has been taking such unprecedented actions. But what's important to understand is that none of that is going to prevent us from going into a recession. We feel like that's a foregone conclusion. And unfortunately, it's not going to prevent these unemployment claims from continuing to escalate, unfortunately. What it is designed to do is help us to sustain through this very difficult period. You know, a lot of times the word stimulus is used. It's not so much stimulus as it is sustenance. We like to think about it as hibernation. So um, the goal being that once we get through this period of time, the economy can spring back to life, kind of like a bear awakening from its slumber. Now, where that analogy breaks down is unlike plants and animals that know instinctively what to do when the hibernation period is over, that it's very different for you, the U.S. economy, the global economy. It's completely unprecedented, and it's a huge question mark what that's going to look like after this period of deep sleep and how we recover at that point in time. What's less uncertain are the things that you can do right now in the midst of this. So we recommend three things. First of all, the silver lining in a downturn like this is to be able to minimize taxes. So to the extent that you have losses and investments outside of retirement accounts, in taxable accounts, you can sell those positions simultaneously buy very similar investments so that you remain invested but then carry forward those losses indefinitely into the future to offset capital gains that you have down the road. Secondly, look for opportunities to buy solid investments right now. We favor large, high quality U.S. companies, the types of ones that we feel confident will sustain through this and get through the other side. And there are um, quite a few solid companies at really strong values at this point in time. And then third, having a personalized financial plan that's tied to your goals, your financial uh, situation, and your family dynamics can be really important because no one likes looking at its statements or account values right now, but at least a, a plan can take that into account and give you context for good financial decision making. Our firm has what we call retirement shock absorber, and it's core to the planning that we've done and has been for decades because it takes into account these types of unexpected events and allows, allows you to absorb some of those and then see uh, and make sense of your situation in light of all of that. So I hope that helps, and for now, I'm signing off. Be safe, everyone. Take care.